Update. Am I the asshole for wearing my GF's hoodie? Hi Reddit. So I said in my original post that I might update and well, here it is. Original post. Opening square bracket dot. So this actually happened a week or two after my original post but we've had a few unrelated family issues going on and I haven't been able to post. Like a few of you suggested, I did wear my GF's clothes at the next gathering. Nothing major, just some cute high-heeled boots, her pink sweater and a pair of her jeans. She also painted my nails a beautiful shade of pink and helped style my hair. Let's just say, by the end of it I wasn't looking like a stereotypical, manly man, not that there's anything wrong with people that do like more masculine clothes. My girlfriend had also decided to wear jeans and a button-up shirt just to annoy Syl. Anyways, we went to my parents and immediately got glares and rude comments from Syl. The comments started about how, if I want to be the woman in a relationship so bad then I should just go back to being AFG, etc. There were a bunch of comments before this but she got annoyed when we ignored them in favor of having an intelligent conversation with other family members. That was the comment that really got to my parents though, it was partly the comment and partly the fact that my brother didn't do anything other than laugh. I've told them to stay out of it as my brother has a history of stopping their contact with my nephew over stupid things and they have enough to worry about. I'd bullied a bit in the past for my sexuality and my brother never stood by me. To him it was my own fault, if I didn't want to be bullied then I should have stayed in the closet. My parents freaked out and all the anger and resentment towards my sill that they had built up for the past few years came pouring out. They told her how they really felt about her and how they are disgusted that my brother could allow someone to treat his own brother like crap. They told them to leave and Syl is no longer welcome in their home until she apologizes. My brother tried the threat of preventing them from seeing their grandson but they were done with him and threatened to get a lawyer involved. They now have scheduled visits though now it's video calls as the rules are more tight again. I feel bad that they're no longer talking to my brother but they've assured me that they'll be okay. Honestly this turned into my parents being badasses rather than myself or girlfriend doing much other than looking absolutely fabulous. Either way, I'm glad that we won't have to see her for a long while. We blocked her everywhere after this incident due to the angry messages, voicemails we were getting. I know this probably isn't the update a lot of people were hoping for but it's brought my family some peace of mind and I'm happy with that. Edit. Okay holy crap this blew up. Seriously thank you for all the amazing comments and awards. I've been trying to read all the comments, sorry that I can't reply to them all. I've seen a lot of people asking about my nephew's visits with my parents. It was not done through a court. It is literally just a plan that my parents and brother came up with so that they can have regular contact with my nephew without speak to his parents. As for the lawyer question. Honestly I do not know everything about how it works, I'm going off what my parents have told me. We live in Scotland and technically grandparents don't have automatic legal rights to their grandkids. They can, however, get a lawyer involved and the courts can decide if contact with grandparents is best for the child. Due to the fact that my nephew is a bit older now there is a good chance they could take his opinion into account. I hope this sort of cleared this up for you guys. Man this is the one time where grandparents rights came in clutch. I hope you're doing well op. Edit. Holy shit I've never had this many upvotes. We stand parents sticking up for their kids. Sad that your nephew is affected like this but understandable. Congrats on being fabulous and being with a wonderful lady and congrats for your parents for standing up for you. I'm sorry to hear about the grandkids. You two sound like a fabulous couple. Also love your parents. Um, this is exactly the update everyone was hoping for, we just didn't know it yet. God damn, your parents are awesome. I hate you sorely out of jealousy. I cannot walk in heels and you can. I don't know I love the update. I didn't see your original post when you first put it up but I had no illusions that you sill or brother would chant so I love this update and it's what I would hope for. Your parents and other family members are by your side, except for your brother who it seems like you are better without anyway. My boys look fucking awesome in pink. There's a French rugby team that has the most amazing pink shirts. Check out Stade Francais Rugby. Honestly, homophobes have some nerve to insist that everyone else, respect, their, discomfort, around LGBT people. Like, no, asshole, you don't get to dictate how people dress or act or be around you, and you are not entitled to have shitty beliefs without consequences. Op, 
I don't think you have a sill problem, you have a brother problem, because your brother is the one who should have your back around this and set boundaries with his hateful wife. Instead of doing that, he just threatened your parents. Good on your parents, though. They're a good egg. Your girlfriend sounds great, too. So in the middle of COVID, your parents were able to get court-ordered visitation rights with their grandchild in 39 days. Bullshit. I love 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 your parents. Stay fabulous dear. Wait, so grandparents do have a right to see their grandchildren in the US. I always thought that's just a line they like to say. Okay unrelated but you seem like a super fun dude and you and your girlfriend sound like a cute couple. I wanna be your friend lol. God I hate people like your sill. I am a guy with pretty long hair, like 7 to 8 inches long if you're wondering, and I have been bullied for it, called gay so on and so forth. Although I've never had to wear a hoodie that isn't mine, I always come prepared, and my girlfriend is a half foot shorter than me, I wouldn't be able to borrow hers anyways xd, but for someone to pick on you for a hoodie of all things, geez, they need help my dude. I hope you have a wonderful life without your sill in it as much. This is so wholesome. Your parents and girlfriend are awesome. Your sill can keep her head where the sun don't shine if she wants to continue to be a disrespectful and terrible person. Keep doing you op. The pink color and bisexuality combination reminded me of a music video of a British drag queen, Scaredy Cat, who is also bisexual like you, in the video he wears pink and is with his girlfriend. Keep being fabulous. Bache, I simply love how you both handled this, and also your parents. You do you, and do not let anyone tell you otherwise hard also. Your girlfriend is ducking awesome, and the kind of person I'd love to have around my life. Yes this is one of the best updates I've ever read thank you for sharing. I can't be the only one that wants to see what the two of them looked like when they did this, no. Just me. K. In all seriousness it's great your parents stuck up for you. In fact it sounds like you gave them the opening they needed to unload a lot of pent up frustrations on an intolerant bigot that's been forced into their lives. Okay, I'm going to be very blunt here, so I hope you don't get offended. I must come from a different place and time and generation, because I cannot believe anyone still uses the word F in 2020. This is sickening and I'm sorry that your sill is such a vile animal. Wow, this update is so much more than I was hoping for. Very satisfying. Thanks for sharing. Like how would your sill know that her son could turn out to be gay? Like is she going to shun him and make fun of him like she did with you? I feel so sorry for the kid because he is in a toxic environment. You wear that hoodie with pride. Badassery. I'm happy your parents stood up for you. Your sill is just bitter. I don't know if this will make you feel a little better, but my boyfriend also wears my clothes and lets me paint his nails. I recently painted his toenails in his favorite colors and added white hearts to them he wears my shirts and shorts sometimes and I think it's adorable. My dad will tease him but he thinks it's nice that I have a boyfriend that's comfortable in his skin. Not for nothing, but your brother is a massive dick and it sounds like he has been since childhood. It's not surprising he married someone who was equally as much a homophobic dick. Good on your parents for standing up for you and not letting the environment remain that hostile. Yo dude, I can relate to annoyed conversations about your appearance, I'm a guy with 7 inch long hair, the amount of times I have been called trans is astounding, although I've never had someone get upset over a sweatshirt I was wearing lol. That's cool that your parents are cool. Hopefully y'all can be there if nephew turns out not to be cis, hetero etc. Reddit's virtue signaling strikes again. OMG this sounds like healthiest relationship I've ever heard. No problems with gender roles or self-expression, this is amazing. Absolutely adorable. I'm really glad everything worked out for you hun. Wow your parents are amazing. Motherfucking round of applause for your fucking parents. We don't see that shit nearly enough. Clapping hands dark skin tone 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 clapping hands dark skin tone. Oh, this is exactly the update we were hoping for. Also, to him it was my own fault, if I didn't want to be bullied then I should have stayed in the closet. That's, victim blaming. I don't even know what to call it. Just idiotic. As a fellow bi person, boy slay cherry blossom one and congrats on the amazing set of parents. Sounds like your sill has some suppressed feelings that she might be embarrassed of. Other people just don't care. Also, 
I'm straight, my husband is a manly man, albeit bisexual, and we would gladly share clothes if we could fit in them. It's less money to spend. Dude after reading your first post in the update, I, a small 16 male bi child, want to be just like you. A functioning bisexual fighting against homophobia. You are so cool, and ya. Yeah. I love this. I love you, I love your girlfriend, and I love your parents for backing you up. This is what family should be. Your sill is a narrow-minded dimwit, and I'm sorry to say, your brother is not any better. You and your family, plus your amazing girlfriend, are champs. I love your parents. You girlfriend is legit. I'm so happy they told your sill to kick rocks. To him it was my own fault, if I didn't want to be bullied I should have stayed in the closet, that sentence makes my blood boil although my brother can be a dick he always stands by me even if I was being a moron. What an incredible update, appreciate it. Your parents sound awesome. Your girlfriend is honestly the best. I'm very glad to hear this. You and your girlfriend are funny and fabulous. Your parents rock. I absolutely adore your parents, and you and your girlfriend. You seem to have a beautiful relationship. I have to ask, though, how on earth did your brother end up being so homophobic when your parents seem so accepting? Usually hatred like that is taught. But I can't see your parents instilling that in him. Oh, not the asshole, by the way. Not even close. Brother and Sil aren't either. They're shit cunts. I love that your parents not only accept you, but also aggressively defend you like that. Your Sil sounds like a nightmare, it's just unfortunate that that's what your nephew has for a mom. I hope you and your parents can still be in his life so he has an example of awesomeness. And so that when he's older he has a cool uncle to talk to about things he doesn't want to say to his parents. Your parents are the real MVPs here. Your Sil doesn't have to like you or your sexuality but that's her problem to deal with, not yours or anyone else's. I just love the dynamics here between you and your girlfriend and you and your parents. By the way, you all just put Sil back in her place with just impeccable style, I applaud you. I'm so glad your parents and girlfriend are so supportive of your confidence. I had a male client when I worked at a shoe store who would look fabulous in heels and women's clothing. His nails were always on fleek too. His wife was super supportive and would come shopping with him all the time. This reminded me of that lovely couple. I miss him so much. I know this goes without saying, but never forget to remind your parents how much you love and appreciate them. As often as you can. Especially after this fiasco. I'm sure they've been wanting to tell your sill, and probably, your brother a little bit, off for some time, but limited contact with their grandson I'm sure can't be easy. Not that it's your fault or anything. Even if you were being petty, your sill and brother were the only people in the wrong here. Bigoted and overreacting assholes. So as someone who lost a parent too early, treat them to some extra visits now that Sil and brother won't be there. They'll really appreciate it more than you know. You're an incredibly blessed guy. Your parents are sound and they stood by you in the face of an asshole of a Sil, that would have been my dream. I remember other family making comments about my checked shirt and oversized jeans when I was a teenager and my mother doing nothing to protect me. Also you're blessed with such a beautiful, brave soul, and a girlfriend who is a real partner in crime, and who can paint your nails. I'm shit at painting my own nails never mind my husband's haha, what's not to love about you son? I hope your brother will have a serious talk with good wife and she'll realize how hurtful her behavior was. Nobody can change someone else's mind but I hope this is a wake-up call for her and for your brother.